Howdy tubers, a little update video for you. Just looking online for some stuff. Uh-oh. I've been ordering some parts here and there for the Explorer. Since we're gonna be in a little far, ordered a new water pump. This water pump was 30 bucks, brand new. Uh, I've used this brand before, it seemed pretty good. It's a brand new water pump for the Explorer. Um, the reason why I've ordered a new pump is because um, in, well you'll see it in next week's video, but I found the leak and basically where the leak, uh, where it needs to be resealed, getting to all that is going to re involve replacing or removing the water pump and I figured while I'm in there, you know, why not, you know, let, let's put a new water pump in because you know, who knows how old that one is um, that's in there. Um, and this is cheap enough where, um, you know, it'd, it'd be a good idea to put it in there. And then, um, my last Explorer, when I did the water pump, I did the thermostat. This is a 195 degree thermostat. Um, I'm a little disappointed it didn't come with the gasket, but I believe this just uses an O-ring, and I think that the other one is still good. We can do that. So this is the thermostat. It's apparently made in USA. It looks decent quality. Yeah, it's a 195. I don't know what's in there now, but um, wouldn't mind the four liter running a little warm on the warmer side. Um, it's better for it anyways because you'll actually get a little bit better fuel economy and it'll burn the moisture out of the oil quicker. Or more efficiently, I should say. So I got that. I have a new timing cover gasket um, on the way. And I'm just wondering if, um, you know, because of that stupid blue car out there, um, I'm thinking to myself, you know, should I go ahead and order a chain or should I get the whole kit? Uh, I'm thinking I might get the whole kit. Um, so uh, I probably, I got four days off coming up. Ugh. I mean, you know, good, eh, but probably actually order that on payday, which would be next Friday. Um, because I'm thinking while we're in there, might as well replace it, you know, who knows that stumbling bit that it has, that could be a result of a, a sloppy timing chain. Now the transmission is something kind of special. First gear is, I mean, it doesn't quite slip, because what'll happen is, so what you'll do is you'll, you'll um, you start to accelerate. The engine will go to 2,500 RPMs. It will stay at 2,500 RPMs, and then as you're going, the speedo is doing this. And then right around 50, 55 miles an hour, then it just drops to like 1,900 RPMs. So you can't even feel it shift. I have a feeling that the valve body gaskets on it are gone, have gone kaput. And the fluid is not quite burnt. It's, it's getting to that point where something is wrong. So what I'm gonna do, milk this thing as much as possible until I have the five speed and, um, and, and the stuff to freshen up the motor with. Um, but I've ordered a valve body, um, it's a master valve body gasket um, kit. And I got it from globaltransmission.com it's uh, got the the upper gasket and the lower gasket um, that that, that um, sandwich the uh, separator plate, and then you have the valve body, of course, which squishes it all together. And then it has a new reverse servo gasket, new reverse servo O-ring, and some other stuff. So I think I'm gonna. Oh, and it comes with the. Uh, uh, filter and a pan gasket. I paid like 35 bucks for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, and we'll do we'll do a video on it. It'll be um, educational if anything. Could I just park it and wait? Yeah, but I can't help myself. I want to see if I can maybe get it to operate a little better and hold out and or last a little longer. I don't know. It's just that's just me. So yeah, and then this thing. Some people think. Uh, we should scrap it. Some people think 
that um, we should scrap it. No, <laughs> uh, no, I got a few people. Thank you guys who have um, commented on uh, my suspicion of the slip slip timing chain. So this thing is going to definitely need a timing chain. You know, we're getting fuel. It's trying to start. It won't start on ether. It does the same thing as it would with actual fuel injection. The only other thing I could try is to unplug the crank sensor and see if it does the same thing. If it does, maybe we could replace that sensor and see if it, maybe it was that. Maybe, maybe that went bad because I have read about those things cracking and going bad and causing starting issues. So um, maybe we'll look into that and see if that's a, if that's a quick fix. If it's fine, then we're going to have to go deeper. But I have, I have a feeling it's not going to be easy. I mean, it's a GM, right? God, I, I don't know what we're going to get for this. This is, this is Adam's idea. I'm just going along with it for YouTube content. If it doesn't sell, it, it might turn into one of those things where Adam might drive it. I don't know. <laughs> but if anything, it's, uh, it's, it's just for content, you know. Anyways, that's all that's going on. Um, that's my main focus is sort of the Explorer. You know, the, the blue car is, I don't know, I just, right now I'm, I don't care as much as I should. It's just a car, right? And the Honda, I sold. Anyways, I think this is going to be it. Hope you guys enjoy the videos and look forward to more Explorer stuff. Um, the truck, I don't know if I'm going to be doing anything to the truck anytime soon. It's the only things that it really needs are upgrades and well that bumper needs to get finished. But um, my whole idea of buying a new welder kind of fell through obviously. So everything just kind of happens randomly. Unfortunately, that is how I live my life. You know, the Explorer thing just popped up. I didn't actively seek for that. That popped up. And then, you know, the car thing was Adam's idea. That popped up. He wanted to do it. Anyways, I'm rambling, and I gotta go. This, this video's gotta stop. Anyways, if you like us, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Also, check out, we have a, I made a Twitter thing. Just, you know, social media. You know, try and get on that. If you don't want to do the Facebook page, which is also in the description, you can check that out. If you don't do the whole Facebook thing, you can go to the Twitter thing, and if I post something, you can see it there. And, you know, keep track of us. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Anyways, Tubes, we'll catch you next time. Have a good night. See you later.